All right, guys, I just pulled up to the first yard sale of the day. It is bright and early on a Friday morning, and we're gonna go see if we can find anything awesome to flip on eBay. Okay. Well, this little guy's cool. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Okay. Good. We have my riding shoes. Yeah, those are nice. Yes. My granddaughter, she rides. Oh, really? Yeah. How much are your Crocs? Uh, a dollar. A dollar. Can't beat a dollar. Turkey talker. Oh, it's a call. Turkey call. Turkey call. Yeah. Are you going to do it for me? Yeah. Heck yeah. You have to use this one. I don't, that's the extra one. Okay. There you go. Sounds just like a turkey. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. How much for that guy? A dollar. A dollar. Seems to be the. And then I got another there. there. Okay. Oh, I remember this. My dad had one just like that. It needs a little chocolate. <laughs> that's it. That's cool too. Quaker boy. Yes. I'll take that's that one too. Old one. All right. That's three bucks. So far. Three bucks. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. That is a decoy. Yeah. I'll take that too. I'll just make me a little pile. Boop. And there you go. Lion King. Babe. I'll just set my stuff under this table. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, sounds good. Well, we got so far. Well, one, two, and I added your decoy. Three, I was at three. Four. All right. How about five dollars? Sounds good. Five bucks so far. Okay. Good morning. How much are your dolls? <laughs> you don't want it. I, I get it. They're American girl. <laughs> Just tell me. Hit me with it. Right. 75. 75 for each one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about your horse? Oh, uh, about a dollar. Can't beat a dollar. I love going a dollar. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is me too. Hmm. This is nice Come on, what about your Star Wars Infinity game here? Yeah. Two bucks. Two bucks, all right. So what do we got now? We got a five, seven, what did I tell you the other A dollar. So eight bucks so far? Right. All right. Yeah, we'll have to go. We're gonna have to go see the squirrels. These look like buzz. Can't beat all these dollar price tags. Made in GDR. Oh, it's a little chippy duck ball on his booty, too. This is a cute little picnic basket. I don't see a brand on it though, but it is pretty well made. Hmm. Nice turn out too. Hmm. Hmm. I sure am. Yes, sir. Are you setting up for the 68? No. Just no, setting up. No. See, I got, I got toy tractors too. Yeah. I collect them. Okay. Toy shows. Oh, you do toy shows. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. Let me check them out. See, I got these. I got a combine. Oh, wow. That's old. Oh, that's like a ride on. Yeah, yeah. It looks like here. 
Oh, dang. So that's a good set. Uh, oh, my goodness. You got a lot of those. I got 12 of them. And then these are all full of tractors. Okay. And these here, they're like these. So. That's all the big money stuff right there, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> How often do you go to toy shows? Oh, once a month. Oh, wow. Depends. Yeah. Do they have a lot here in town? He's being only a target. Hmm. 2009. I don't know about this. This is my guess is probably not good, but 2009 only a target makes me think it might be. Gala Trendsetter made me USA. It's a vintage kite. I might take that too. I can't really beat his prices, but everything being a dollar. Alright, alright. What is this? A transition. No. Transonic transistor? Mmm. Blue Band International, but made in China, I believe. A lot of this stuff we had an RV. Oh, really? And that's where all the dishes, they were all bought for it. Yeah. Where's the last place you went in your RV? Where's the last place? Uh huh. Shelbyville, Tennessee. Okay. Can't beat Tennessee. It's one of my favorite places to go. Okay, I honestly already forgot our total over there. Do you remember? <laughs> Let me see. We can add it up again One, easy. two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I thought it was eight. Eight sounds good. And then add these two to it. Uh, uh, 20 cents, 25 cents. Oh. And what about this guy? Oh, a uh, dollar. Okay. We'll just do even $10. How's that? Okay. Uh, oh, you got a bunch of knives in here. Can oh, I open yeah. this up? Yeah, yeah, I'll open it. Oh, wow. Yeah. These are old ones. Yeah. Lots of case. These are new ones, though. Okay. How much uh, How much is one like this? Ten bucks. Ten bucks, huh? Mm. Gosh, you got a lot of them. Hmm. Never heard of this brand. Victor That's a, it's really what it is. It's a gift for somebody. Oh, a gift somebody <laughs> gave you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hmm. Dang, you got a lot of these cases, huh? Yeah, oh, I got a bunch more. Oh, really? But I ain't got them out. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I should just pick a few out here. Hmm. They're high. Yeah, They're no, high. I understand. They're yeah. good ones. Yeah, yeah. I don't know a lot about them. I just know Case is pretty sought after. Yep, especially these. These are the older ones. Yeah. These right here. And these are in really nice shape, too. Yeah, they've been used a little bit, but they're... The blades still look good, though. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Have to pick a little handful. I wish I had a better knife game, but I do not. That was a good one too. Hmm. Well, big guys here for a long time. Yeah. Yes, they will. They will, indeed. Gosh, I just wish I knew more about them. Hmm. What about for these five right here? Oh. Uh. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Okay, yeah. I'll do it. Okay. All right. Let's put all your other ones back in here. How nice you had them? I do. I don't want to make a mess of your stuff here. Oh no! You got more? Yeah, I forgot to. Do. Okay. 
I also added this little uh, piggy bank. Five bucks. Five bucks. It's a little high. How about a dollar? Okay, dollar. A dollar. I don't care. <laughs> I just told him to get rid of it. He had everything set up last night. I said, if somebody comes and steals it, put a sign out. Take, you have to take everything except the tape. No kidding. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, so we're at 10, 75, 76, just to keep it before I even start looking. Oh, Jesus. There were just, uh, this one here is the best one. Okay. It's high. Yeah. Are you from here? Uh, well, D Danville, so close. You That's see what, almost here. You see what that says? The Spring Inn from 1948 to 1998, 50th anniversary. Where's the Springs Inn? It's gone. It's water. Oh. It used to be, you know, where um, CVS is uh -huh. and uh, McDonald's, and it's set right there. Well, it was the place to go huh. in so, Campbell. Had live music every all oh, the way really? yeah, dancing. That's we awesome. Used to go. A little bit before my time of being in this town. <laughs> I've only lived in Lexington for about a year and a half yeah, or so. It's been gone for probably ten years. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, what about this one, sir? <laughs> that one right there is 30. 30. That's okay. a case. That's just neat looking. I've never seen one that's yes. got that curve it's like that. It's called a toothpick. A toothpick, okay. I thought that was a, a toothpick. What do they call them that the big gangs carry? Switchblade? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Oh, no. Oh, Dale Earnhardt, okay. What is that, a car or a knife? Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez, you have, oh, a case, Dale yes, Earnhardt. Yes, yes. The Intimidator. Yes. Dang. And look, you got your certificate. Yeah. Dang, that is nice, too. I'm it's scared to rare, ask. Rare. I'm scared to ask. <laughs> it ain't basic. It ain't 100 bucks. 100 bucks. You're definitely going to have the right people that come along. They're going to know a lot more about these than I do. You're doing good. You're okay, doing good. You're doing good with, what did I tell you, 65 yes, here? Yes, sir. You're doing good. You're, 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 you're learning. Wow. Oh, you just keep pulling them out. Oh, man. And Remington. Wow. Those are just pretty to even look yes. at. Yes, yes. That's what they Dang. are. They're collectibles. Yeah. You have an amazing collection. Are you into these? No, sir. <laughs> I really don't know a lot about about them to be honest the only thing i'm slightly familiar with is case and like a few others yeah oh gosh put the herd on you is that like a hunting knife no it's really just for looks oh, okay really well you know what i think it uh, probably does its job because it's intimidating <laughs> it's not like we had a son who used to work at Jumbo Sports before uh -huh. went out of business and he worked in the gun department. He said people would come in looking for guns to protect their house. And yeah. And they'd want a revolver or something and he'd go, no, you need a shotgun. Yeah. He said there's nothing worse than standing in a dark room and hearing a shotgun run. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's nice too because the other ones are quiet. You're right. The sound alone will scare yeah. them off. See this one? Oh, dang. <laughs> Where do you get those things? I, I run across things. <laughs> you just run across them, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start putting everything in my bag. Okay, what so, did we sell? I was there? up to seventy-six dollars. <laughs> okay. I'm just right. gonna give you eighty. Okay. 80. Okay. Eighty will be fine. <laughs> You will change? No, I feel like you gave me a good deal on all this stuff down here, so we're good with 80. Right. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It'll all fit in here. Oh, you mean you're trying to sell me something else? Yeah. <laughs> all right, you know, some of it I may just give you. <laughs> Please take this. I would think you'll have a lot of business today just where you guys are right off of the 68 yeah. with that going on. Oh, 68 going on too? Yeah, it's going on. Yeah, it started right. yesterday. Yeah. I did that one time. It's it's a hit and miss. Yeah, it definitely I'm is. Stick that in one of those yeah, I'm going to stick it down there in that crock there. All right, I believe I got everything. Well, thank you, man. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it as well. Good right, luck you with yourself. Good. You I, you thank you. Scone with you. Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> oh, please. Are you sure? Yes, because well, thank you so it much. made a big one, and we're both on a diet. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. 
well how about that i got some knives look you guys this is still hot it's warm on the plate how about that okay so i just very 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 quickly looked up the dale earnhardt knife and i saw one that sold for 90 dollars and then i was looking at that toothpick some of those toothpick knives that sold for 150 but then there was some that sold for 30. and i didn't want to sit there and just like spend all the time in the world looking that stuff up Hopefully I did okay with 65. I'm going to be willing to guess that I did pretty good. I'm not sure if you guys have heard the saying to never drink from the yard sale stand lemonades, but I don't think mama's going to be able to resist this scone. If you guys could smell this right now, the whole garage literally smelled amazing. Um, okay, 80 bucks at the first stop. Not sure how I did on those case, but in my opinion, there's no way I'm going to lose money on those. So sometimes, well not sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it is worth the risk to just pick it up. I'm sure I left some big money behind there. You guys let me know in the comments which ones I definitely should have picked up. Anyways, let's head on down the highway and see what else we can find. Good morning, little guy. You having a yard sale? Okay, great, thank you. That's a toy, is that Jurassic World Barbie? How cute is that? It's new though. By new, I mean new age. Is that soon? What's that? Um, soon? What's that? Um, it's Lego. Yeah. My daughter loves Lego and she loves animals. I bet she's gonna like this. Hmm, am I gonna let her have it? Yeah, she loves them. Am I gonna let her have it or not? That is the question. 10 bucks for a 525 piece of Lego. I don't think I can go wrong either way I go. Hmm. What is this? iPad Air Mini. Oh, my camera's clicking. I need to tighten it up. Good morning. Good morning. You have left your cell in good hands out here. <laughs> you doing okay, bud? Mom, we got customer. Me too. <laughs> Did you tell her good morning? You're supposed to tell, tell her good morning. Oh! He did really good. He told me to come on in the garage. There's stuff in here. Yeah. We had a little conversation about these Legos here. Yeah. I think you've got a good helper today. Do you want a bag or anything? Uh, you know what, I think I'm fine. I have lots okay. of bags in the car. Okay, we also have boxes. Okay, I think I'm good to go, but thank you. I'm your first one? All right. Twelve dollars, and I only have a twenty. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Uh, yes, buddy. Um. So we. So um. Maybe mom, could you? Maybe I can. Maybe um. I can tell Riley. Maybe I mean, and she might come and buy stuff. <laughs> you might buy stuff that we. Hi. Well, are you all finished with your breakfast? Can you just come over here, please? Sure. Yeah, come over here. Yeah, we'll give you a little bit. There you go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
32 gigs. Gosh, 2012, so probably not that great, but for two bucks, I don't think I can go wrong. And this, these little cannon power shots do really well and sell really fast, but it looks pretty dang good. All right, on to the next one, guys. I had exactly enough distance in between those last two sales and this one to eat this much of the scone. In case you guys were wondering, it's flipping amazing. All right, looks like we've got two right across the street from each other. One there, one over there. Looks like a lot of furniture across the street. Let's check it out. I like those chairs. Not really nice. They are. $25 each. You can paint them black. Yeah. Shoot, I would not dare paint those black. Okay. Well, some very lovely. Do. I know okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it in their natural form. Yeah. That's even better. Heck yeah. yeah. All of that history and all that I've done all of that. Yeah. You know what's right and what's not. This is funny that I use these. That's the replays. How much on this? Yeah. Your toilet wand? Yeah, I think there's a dollar on it. Oh, there it is. Yep. Three dollars. Oh, three dollars. Okay. I like the dollar better, but I'll pay three. It's like ten dollars for this stuff at the end of the refills. So, I should do it. Says, but see how intricate this little paint job is, blown glass. Uh, and then it's marked. I'm going to smell this for sure. Now get those plates out too. Oh, I'm going to break my box it and have it boxed. Mmm. Dang, it looks nice too. I wish these other ones were marked. I've got a flooring to sell. I've got a wood burning fireplace and a tree pot. It is beautiful also. Mmm. This one is just so intricate. I'm gonna take a chance on CR. How about the whole comics, huh? Oh, I think this little, I think this is Radco. $3 each. Well, can I see? Good blanket right there, but I'm not trying to mess with it. Mm. All right, now I'm going to take your toilet brush okay. and these two beautiful ornaments. What a combination toilet bowl cleaner and ornaments. <laughs> so we got what three on everything? Yes, ma'am. So Nine bucks. Thank you so there. much. I appreciate that. Where'd you put those bags in this? Right here. Right, 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 right. Oh. Where's the cell phone? Twenty dollars. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll I think you're following me around. I think so. What's that? You gotta change the route. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't lit at all the previous cells. Mm -hmm. Just hold it. Yeah, I don't think it's lit now, but you know. Oh, okay. It's, 
carries its odor. Yeah. Thank you so much for wrapping those for me. Yeah. I bought a set of Pyrex balls last weekend, and I had a speed bump, and the small one like bounced up and crushed my middle bowl. Oh. So I only made it home with two out of the three. Oh, bummer. <laughs> my fault for not stacking them properly, but yeah, still a bummer. Yeah, I'm not even sure that this is good. That's enough. good. I'm gonna put them in something else when I get in the car, but okay. that is perfect. And there is nine dollars. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. You know, Appreciate I've been it. here a couple years in a row. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I keep coming back. All right. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Here, right? Excuse me. Thank you, guys. No, you're fine. You guys are both just right. back to back. Thanks so much. All right. Obviously, this is not for resale. These ornaments, though, I feel like that was probably a really good find. I'm really, I feel like I should know what CR is. It's probably going to come to me anytime, but I'm like 90% sure that other one was Radco. Guys, I'm like 20 seconds down the road and it just hit me. Uh, I believe the CR stands for Christopher Radco. So I'm pretty sure that I got two Radco ornaments at that sale. It's tough because I want to just like look everything up and show you guys what stuff is worth at the trunk each time But it's really hard when you're in like a neighborhood sale like this That is full of resellers and people shopping you want to just hurry up and skidoot on to the next one But dang, um now it explains like that amazing Paint job that is really exciting to think that I just spent six dollars on two large Radco ornaments that is really floating me boat. I don't even know which way to go. Look at all these signs you guys So this is what I'm working with there are sales everywhere. So frank, flowers, so is the tag. How are you doing this morning? Good. Good. Had a pong. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you bounce it back and forth. Interesting. Ten bucks. Oh, it's open too. Oh, you four dollars. Okay, there you go. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was pretty interesting in a sale where seemingly everything was priced, possibly for what it's worth. I don't know. I didn't spend much time looking anything up because the prices were, you know, on the higher side as far as resale goes. Some of those things might have been worth what they're priced at, but 
this is a vintage Lisa Frank stuffed animal. Now I have sold a bunch of like the little, the little ones. I think they're called like beanie buddies. However, I've never snagged one of these big ones, but I do remember seeing this exact horse the last time I was listing mine and I want to say it was selling for at least $40. Hopefully it was more than that due to the size. It could have been the small one I'm thinking of. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to put up the current going rate for this bad baby right now. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to cut in today. Uh, let's touch base on a few things because this was a pretty crazy start to my morning. But let's let's talk about the dollar sale, first of all. Like, that sale could have been, like, totally different. And what I mean by that, that doesn't make much sense. Uh, totally different, meaning that so many of those items are, like, hit or miss. Like that Star Wars toy, for example. Um, it just so happened to be a Target exclusive, and it was, like, 12 or so years old. So I picked it up. That could have been, like, 7 bucks. But it ended up being from a good series, and it sells for like 50 to $60. And I had no idea. I was just buying it because the things were a dollar. Now, the Briar Horse. So, obviously, Briar Horses do carry a really good value. And so, if you ever come across one, like, used for a dollar, you should probably pick it up. But let alone new in the box. Now, that one last sold for $80 used and sells for over $100 new. So, I have mine listed at $125. Um, now, I kind of used these really cheap prices to justify the risk on those case knives. Now, I do know that they hold value, but every knife is different. I don't know how to date them or to tell their value just by looking at them. With case knives, you have to find that specific model to get a true value. Now, I have only listed one of the five knives, and the one I listed was probably the one in the best condition, and it sold very quickly for $75. Now, the other four knives I've just started looking into, and actually, that's a lie, three, because I've misplaced one. I'm not sure where it's at. Sorry about the helicopter, but it's either dark in here because the garage door is closed or I open the garage door for the lighting and we hear some noise. Ugh. Anyway, so this little yellow case knife sells for about 50 to 60 bucks. So in between this one and the one that already sold for $75, we are into the profit on the knives. Now, a couple of condition issues on this one. Like this is an electrician's knife and it has comps that are pretty decent, but when you open this up, the blades do have some rusting and maybe like a couple little pits on it. So am I gonna be able to get the $100 that it sells for? Absolutely not. Um, I might be lucky to get like $15 because of the condition issues. But overall, when you add up all of the knives, it's gonna be over $200. So is that the greatest deal for 65 bucks? Probably not, but I'm still into the profit and I still got all of those other crazy items at that sale. Now, let's talk about the craziest item of that sale and honestly, the craziest item of the day. Now, you guys saw me pick up those two turkey calls at the beginning. Both of them were the same brand. Both of them were Quaker Boy, but they were two different styles. Now, the cheaper of the two, I think I have listed for around $25. Now, that wood one, you guys, it ended up being incredibly rare. This one I listed immediately, and it has already sold for $225. Now, there are other Quaker Boy calls very similar to this that have only sold for $20 to $30. So, again, I just got incredibly lucky that this gentleman was pricing everything at a dollar. And so, I just instinctually picked that up without looking it up. And what a score. And so, all of these other scores made up for the questionable purchase of the case knives. I also got really lucky with those um, two Radco ornaments. It's so much of this luck, as I call it, comes from like just noticing quality. And that's the thing with really nice ornaments, especially Radco, is the painting is incredible. So the larger snowman already sold for $50 and I have the other little Nomi guy listed, I think for 30 ish. So another really good pickup for $3 each. What else? What other sales did we hit this day? Oh, an iPad for $2, come on. Like, I understand it's old, but that's still a really good deal. And then we got that Canon Power Shop for a dollar, which is a better deal than the iPad because I think it sold for like 50 bucks. Um, and then I've got the Lego, which is over here hidden in the garage because I haven't decided if Kinsley is getting that for Christmas or not. What else? And then lastly, that Lisa Frank horse, it ended up not selling for as much as I was thinking, or maybe the comps have changed since over a year ago when I looked at it, but it already sold for $32. So at a $4 cost of goods, that was still a pretty good deal. So a really incredible start to my morning, met the sweetest people. I still can't believe 
that lady and her precious scone. That was my first scone, by the way, and it was delightful. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really fun day, and I found a lot of cool stuff, so I hope y'all liked it. Um, if you did, you guys want to hear something I never say? Why don't you guys hook me up with a like and, like, 70% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you want to help a girl out, hit subscribe and give me a like. Um, did I sound too um, youtube -y cheesy, guys? Or did I do a good job? Just like the video. Just, just give it a like. And I'll see you guys next Thursday with another video.